Hello, welcome to part two of cooking shawarma. Thanks for joining me again. I hope you have seen part one, which we had prepped the meat for shawarma. So today we are going to cook the shawarma. You'll see how easy it is once you have prepped everything. A few days ago, we have seasoned our shawarma meat and then we put it in the refrigerator and uh, froze it. So those are the frozen pieces that I made with you a few days ago. Uh, I took the cellophane out of this one and I cut it in pieces in small slices, just like the sausage. And I'm going to cook it. Today we are going to see how easy it is to cook shawarma whenever you need it. All you have to do is just season it, put it in the, the freezer, take it out whenever you need it, put some condiments, and enjoy it. Let's start with the, the tahini sauce. I'm going to make the tahini sauce first, then we will uh, make our shawarma. I'm going to let it sit outside for a few minutes so it will get a little bit softer. It will be too hard to cut it right now. I'm using my mini blender again. I'm going to put uh, Five cloves of garlic, about half a teaspoon of salt. I don't want it to be too salty. I will taste it and then I will add it as, a, as I need it. And it's going to be a little bit noisy. I'm going to turn off the noise so you won't hear all this background noise. Let's sesame seed oil I think this is enough It becomes denser and also a little bit of water. I need to add a little bit of water. You add water until you get this consistency. And the sauce is ready to be served with shawarma. If you like it a little runny, you can add more water and blend it and get a consistency that you like. This has been sitting outside for last hour and a half. Um, I'm going to see if I can remove the cellophane. It's not that hard to remove the cellophane. So I'm removing the cellophane and cutting it in slices. This is very, very cold. I'm going to cut enough for six people and then I'm going to place the rest back in the freezer. It's easier to cut it while it's frozen. As you can see, I'm cutting quarter inch slices. I'm 
Japan. So today we are going to enjoy our shawarma together. You can cut as much as you want. You don't have to open the whole thing. You can just cut it with the cellophane on, just like this, with the cellophane on, and then peel off the cellophane. And the rest you can also wrap it in the uh, bag, the cellophane bag, and put it back in the freezer. I have cut my shawarma into slices. Now I'm going to cook it. Uh, I'll turn on the heat to high heat. Since my shawarma is frozen and it's still um, getting softer, uh, it's going to, uh, it's not going to make a difference if my oil is warm or not, if it's heat, uh, heated or not. I'm just going to put it in the pan. I will cook about this much and then I will keep on adding to that. I'm adding enough slices to cover the pan and once it cooks I'm pushing it aside. I'm not taking it off of the pan, I'm just pushing it aside and adding more slices. And I continue doing that and I keep on stirring it so it won't burn. If you're cooking for a big party you can also put this in the oven and stir it several times so it will get evenly cooked and it will be a lot easier to cook it in the oven if you're cooking for a big party. As you can see, it doesn't take long to cook this. In 15-20 minutes, you'll have, a, uh, uh, you'll have it ready. All you have to do, just cut your condiments, have it ready. Cut some onions, parsley, chop some parsley. Slice a few tomatoes, um, maybe pickles. Uh, whatever you like to have it in your sandwich, uh, you can just cut it and uh, uh, put it in the sandwich. Today I just cut it some onions, tomatoes, uh, lettuce, and um, some pickled uh, pickled cucumbers. I'm warming up my pita bread. If you have a pita bread, that's fine. If you don't, sometimes if I don't have pita bread, I I use uh, tortilla bread. Uh, it's as good as the pita bread, so I love tortilla bread too. So you can use both, either tortilla bread or pita bread. But pita is the authentic way of eating the shawarma. So if you have pita, that's perfect. Our shawarma is ready. It's a very casual Middle Eastern food. You can have this uh, in the open air or you can have it on your kitchen counter. It, it's a very casual lunch or uh, dinner if you like. Uh, you can just gather the whole family and enjoy it. That's what we're going to do today. I have my family around me and we're going to enjoy this with my family. Um, I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. And hit that bell so if you want to be notified of my new releases. Today I only cooked one of the logs and I have saved the rest and I'm going to cook it whenever I feel like having shawarma and I will take um, videos of that too and I will share it with you. Our shawarma is ready. That's how we invite our guests to the table. Now I'm 
going to show you how we are going to enjoy it. Um, I'll make a sandwich and uh, let's see how it tastes. We take a pita bread, open the packet. Take the shawarma. the tahini sauce that we made I like to use generous amount of it because that's the whole taste of it a little bit of lettuce slice of tomato slice or two some onions using my hand a uh, little bit of parsley and some pickle a little more tahini since I love tahini sauce I enjoyed that shawarma with my family a few weeks ago and weeks had passed and um, I was wondering what I should make for lunch and my mom suggested let's make shawarma since we have shawarma already in the uh, freezer so we made this so we made just enough for two of us and today we are going to enjoy this with myself and my mom this is enough for just two I didn't have pita bread I'm using um, Mexican tortilla bread and it tastes as good as the pita and I love it uh, this way too so I'll show you how I'm assembling it in the tortilla bread and uh, you'll have an idea. Our chawarma is ready and now it's time to taste it. It looks delicious. This is good enough for two people. It's um, enough for two sandwiches. I don't have pita bread, therefore I'm using um, Mexican tortilla and it will make a nice sandwich as well I'm going to use my hand I use some flowers from my garden to garnish it those are dandelions from my garden it's edible flowers I don't know what this is called but it's edible too it's beautiful it gives a nice contrast Just filling the pockets with everything that I want in my sandwich. This is what it's looked like so far. It does give nice crunch. I don't have pickles. If you have pickles, it will go very well with this sandwich so I'll also use pickles this is a tahini sauce that I made earlier and I saved it also a little bit of tahini sauce and it's a perfect perfect lunch prepared in minutes I have made the I have seasoned the meat and froze it in advance and I have it in the video you can see it and I'm going to taste this let's uh, see how it tastes I'm getting anxious here mm -hmm -hmm. the tiny sauce is so good I haven't got to the meat yet well this is what it's all about you can make it and enjoy it too. Thanks for joining me today at Margaret Lalik's kitchen and I hope you enjoyed making shawarma with me. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. 
Also, if you want to be notified of my future releases, hit that bell so you will be notified. If you missed the first video which shows how to prep the meat, go to my channel and look for episode number 80 and you will see how we prep the meat. Thanks again and have a wonderful day, wonderful week and wonderful life. Bye bye, love you all.